Hi guys, it's Amber again, and I'm gonna be playing a game I played like a couple months ago because I found, finally found it after using trying to look for it. But I never actually only played it. I've watched playthroughs of it, even though this game's like really old. <laughs> but I'm rambling, let's just get into it. D&D Poison. A Death Note fan game. Um. It was like really hard to find. That website doesn't even exist anymore. Let's see what I can do. I'm sure you know what poison is. Sometimes it has the power to kill you fast, but other times you might not even notice that you've been poisoned. It takes over you slowly. Slowly. Oh, not okay. I get mixed up. It's Roger. Hi, Roger. Uh, I need to catch up. No. <laughs> yes, Mel and you are both brilliant, but their relationship hasn't been the best. There's a high competition between them, especially from Mel's part. I guess it can't be helped, though. It's worrying that the situation is too similar to to that time. That's right, however, we might be able to do something about it. I shall do as you suggest and observe the process, progress. I'm sure Nia will not oppose it, but Mel is a bit unpredictable. Yep, that's well. That can be a good thing as well. Smile. <laughs> Uh, chocolate. Here, mellow, doll. They look so cute in this form. Here I am again, not wanting to, but from a distance. Sometimes I wonder if this is some twisted form masochism. You must be really sick. Him over there, near, number one. Me, Mellow, number two. It, I could go on, but I'll leave it at that. Near the pale, motionless, perfect boy. The one who can't see me at all. I'm sure he knows I'm here, but chooses to ignore it. Someday, I wish I could break his complacency. I should take him outside that world he is in. Show who I am. Munch, munch, munch. And that is what I repeat to myself every day. Day after day. But I'm sick of it. I wish I could decide what and who to think about. I'd like to have more control over my emotion, my own emotions, over my own life. Knowing Nier is around feels like a prison. Even breathing is hard sometimes. But admitting my defeat like this is something I can't do. Mellow, Nier, I'm glad to see you both here. I just happened to walk by. I wanted to speak to you both. Please come to my office. Understood. As we enter, Nia presses himself on the floor as usual and continues his puzzle. You think he had no interest in this thing, but I know him better than that. I guess it's the same when I talk to him. What is it, Roger? Well, I have a new project for you both. Yes, a chance to beat him. However, this time is a bit different. This time it's not about separate projects, 
We both must do this together. What? Together? Yes, both you and me. But, Roger, I don't think this will work. You know that we don't get along well. Mello. To make it easier, you both should work on it in the morning. Submit a report to me every day after each session. Understood. It's fine with me. Yeah. I can't say no now, can I? It just means I lose without doing a thing. Uh, Alright, fine. I'll do it. Very good. I didn't expect any less from you both. Oh, shut up, Roger. You like to do Yes, I'd love to save. Awkward silence. Guess game babies in the morning. Yay, more babies! Shall we start now? Yeah, no reason to leave for later. I'm going to the library now. Alright, I'm coming too. How about if each of us works on his own and later we put it, everything together? I believe that's not what Roger requested from us. I know, I know. It was just a stupid suggestion. Here I am at the library with my rival. He is taking a seat. I guess I'll have to sit close to him for this time. We only have three days to finish this, so we better work hard on it. This is such a strange project Roger gave us poisons. If you give me nasty ideas, it might not be safe if I learn more than I already know. <laughs> I'm sorry, I cannot ship you guys. It's always been that mellow for me. I cannot ship you mellow even though this is what this game's about. Both of us have a basic knowledge about poisons already. We are able to name many of them along with their effects in the human body. Yes, that's easy. Also, the uses uh, for many of them during history. It's obvious Roger is after something different this time. Yes, it is. He is after us. I don't know what happened there. That's right. Hence, you want this report to keep a part of both of us, not... No, even better. He'll want us to report to be the result of me, you and me as one. I'll listen to you. It's not I enjoy listening to him, but this has a purpose. I must study him, his words, his gestures, everything about him. If I want to surpass him, I must study him. But sometimes I wonder if it's really necessary to go that far. Anyway, I don't want to become one with him. Roger is asking for something impossible. The result of him and me is one. Somehow, it sounds amusing to me in a twisted way. Perfect Nier is not able to complete this task without me. He is not enough. So, the same applies to me, but... I can choose to take this as a recognition of my talent. But you know how some substances might not cause real harm on their own. Ever combined with another substance, the chemical reaction might make them into poison. Roger's just trying to be a catalyst here who knows what will happen. This situation is a repulsive and alluring, I'm, I must add. We spent many hours in the library gathering as much information as possible. Sometimes we have to talk to each other, but not as much as we should have to do this correctly. As if each of us was too proud, or maybe that was just me. Sun is setting. Should 
after we finish for today as Robert told us, but I'll wait for New York to dress it first. It's getting late. Robert should be waiting for our report of today's work. Oh, it's already this late? Okay. He puts everything together and stands up from his chair. Time to head to Roger's office. I guess I'll be free after this. Ooh. I spent a long time with you today. I'm glad to have a peaceful moment at last. I'm free from the rest of the day. What to do now? Hey, Mello! Hey. <laughs> you look so adorable. Oh, I bet you look so adorable still. Um, hey. Matt, what are you doing here? I need another player, a fair match, no. I'm not here because I want to be. This is Matt, ring number three at Miami's house, right behind me. He's usually inside playing games, but sometimes the boys drag him outside like this. It's not like we do a lot of things together, but you could say we are good friends. I wonder if it's because his marks are never better than mine. Or maybe because he never has any problem admitting who is the boss here. But then again, no one has. They keep calling me to play with them. Come to play with us, right wing sprained his ankle, and we need another player. Hey boys. Sure, who wants, who team, which team wants to win? Come with us. Oh, you look so scared of that. Wait, what? I want to be on Mel's team. Let's go. I always enjoy playing with them. Sometimes I always enjoy making them angry. No matter what we do, they always ask me to come with them. This makes me forget that I'm only second for a while. Among them, I always come first. Uh, I'm just go outside again. The boys have left already since it's getting late. Soccer is supposed to go to the rocks for a bit. Um, this is my room. It's a bit messy, but I study a lot. I don't feel like bothering to clean it. To make things on my mind to care. Your room reflects the person you are. I can't agree with that. Anyways, I'm not really super high. I'd like to do something else. I wonder what's in the common room. <laughs> there he is, as always. Eh, I don't want to talk to you. I better face you to stare at him. Probably gonna hear a bad ending doing this, but I really don't care. Let's go sneak a deer room. Be nosy. This is near and amazing you should be here at this time. It's very tired, just opposite of mine. Maybe I could look into his closet for a bit. But it would be really humiliating to be caught in such a situation. I better leave if someone finds me and please look for something. Dang it. It's in the library then. I where I spend most of my time with Nier. This place would end up giving me bad memories. Mello! Linda! Hello, are you going to study? Her name is Linda, and that's all I can really say about this girl. Other than sometimes she annoys me. We all get annoyed. Not right now. Then what are you doing here? Just walking around. This girl has a habit of putting her nose into other people's business. 
It's not the first time I see you're trying to convince you to play with the rest of us. Why do I always find myself thinking about him? I heard you and you have prepared for a project. You heard right. Sounds very interesting. You both are always the top students. Combining your brains together, something amazing must come from it. I said sometimes she annoys me. This happens to be one of those times. Why won't you just shut up and leave me alone? Linda, I think it's well known that you and I can't get along. In fact, is it you who usually goes and cries to Roger because we're having an argument? Yes, but I think this time it's different. If you get into a fight, you could fail this project, couldn't you? Maybe, if Roger finds out. I like your thinking, Mello. Mello, you know if you're meeting him again, I'll tell Roger. Maybe, if you find out. <laughs> you know that I spent so much time alone with Mir. It would be very easy to torture him in a place where no one could see us. <laughs> Do you think he'd scream for help? <laughs> Bella, you, you can't be serious! Who knows, but I admit, I just wanted to see your scared face. I believe you are more responsible than that. You don't want to lose, do you? I won't lose. I don't know what to do now. Okay. Uh, I don't want to talk to Nier though. He's a moron. I know this. Is, I I won't say there's an ending I can get without Nier. Here's playing with this puzzle on the floor. I'm sure I can do better things than watch him. I just want to go back to my room. Or Mel's room. Maybe I'm supposed to go see Roger? Do I need to see Roger? Good evening, Mel. How was you today? To tell the truth, Roger, I think I'm capable of doing this without Nier. Um, I don't doubt you could do a brilliant report by yourself, however. This is something I need both you and him. If either you did it separately, it wouldn't be the same. It is a strange plan. Is this a Hold on, no, no, no. Is it a strange plan for us to become friends? Personally, I don't think it will succeed. Audrey just smiles at me for a moment before speaking again. Are you saying you want to give up? No! I was just saying! I'll do it. It's not that hard. I believe you can do this now. Please try and get along with you. It's probably safe. Trying to get along with you is that easy as it sounds. I still see him as a rival. Can't help but compete with him. I want to be the best at this task. I know I'll hate him again if he does better than me this time. But getting along with him is part of the task as well. I shouldn't fail at this. Time passed when I noticed it was night already. Well, should I sleep? Better go out for a walk. I'm sorry, go to the common room. Some small time to play in. There's also a piano, so we can go out, call it, sit around. Oh, and this teacher plays it. Oh, and this is also played the music. She's played this puzzle. He's not around this time though. There's nobody here right now. But this place, I can hear laughter of some children. You can say Whammy's house looks like a very peaceful place. 
if you don't know about the endless war that everyone has inside themselves. Who's in the library this time? There are a few children at the, li in, at the library right now. This place is never empty. Most of the residents of Rami's house work hard to become better. Hence, the library is not closed until late at night when we are all expected to sleep. Maybe I can borrow a book to read in my room tonight since it will be hard to sleep. <laughs> Matt might like it? Really? I can choose that? Just because I ship them. <laughs> you can also my room from time to time. We could have fun together reading this. That Matt says I'm fun of him. I kind of feel the same about him. Ho 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 ho! I'm not really in a situation to think about anything else than the project premiere, but we can always relax and forget about it for a bit. If I go back to my room now, is Matt there? Yes! Welcome back! Hey Matt Board. Barry, I finished my new game several times already. That explains it. Matt doesn't usually visit other people to play with them, but I'm the exception here. He says I'm fun to be around. It wasn't a bad match today, Mel, but next time I want to be on your team. You, you didn't like losing, don't you? Oh! Of course, playing with you is always better than playing against you. Okay, you just have. Okay, you just proved that you deserve to be on my team. Hey, did you ever doubt me? I'm hurt. By the way, don't ask. Well, I didn't say anything yet. You were going to ask about me or? Oh, how'd you know? <laughs> Yes. Well, before you tell me, it's going okay. Oh, then you two are becoming friends? Not really. Well, really? Well, I'm kind of relieved. Huh? Guess I'd be jealous if you became Premier's friend. I wonder why! Can you seriously picture me becoming like him, Matt? Eh, no, you're fun to be around, and he's so boring. It's part of your wild nation, not even that boy can change it. Is that fun all you think about? Of course, that's why I keep coming to your room. What kind of fun? Did you know that one of the boys here has a magazine full of bikini models hidden somewhere? No kidding, where did he get such a thing? Contacts. Don't you want to come and see? I think I'll pass. Come on Mel, we turned 14 already. Our sexuality is fully developed and mine talks to me. Doesn't yours talk to you too? I only talk to my neutrons. Say what you want, but I know you're curious too. Of course I am, but I don't let it control me like you all do. Did you try real ghosts and doing over fake ones? Fake ones are better, they don't talk. Oh, I should these guys too much. We kept talking for a while. I know I'm the only person Matt likes having around, and he says it's fun. The other boys say the same. I'm seen as a leader because of my brain energy. However, Matt essentially is like a dog that follows his master whenever he's told to. Sometimes he gets in trouble trying to follow me, but he always comes back anyway. I always say I don't really need them, but I know very well without that my sanity would be gone. No. Yeah, I'm gonna cut the episode there, but I'm gonna be playing this again, but yeah, I, I like this. I never actually fully played through it, and I actually, I'm curious, is there actually a mad ending? If there is, I'm gonna find it probably through this. I'll try, I'll, 
I'll play for the other Mellow Near and Leagues, even though I never really shipped them. You know, Matt and Mel was actually like my first ship I ever actually really got into in middle school. But yeah, that's the end of the video. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.